Welcome back to another quarterfinal match in the Fandom TV tournament. And today we have uh, another first round by man playing, and it is Eli McKagan. He is taking on Subrath in a match that I think we've all been looking forward to. And joining me here today is Caleb Coho. Mr. Coho, how are you doing today? Do you have fresh laundry provided by your mother ready? <laughs> if um, I do, and uh, I am very excited uh, to see these guys play today. Um, we are one step closer to figuring out who will be playing for the Fandom TV title, um, and it looks like uh, the uh, Arrowverse champion uh, – Runner-up Eli McKegg, uh, one of the top players in the in all of these divisions uh, here at Multiplex, uh, is in contention once again for another title. Uh, and Subrath, uh, Subrath is also playing today. <laughs> 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 but I, we love both these guys, and I can't wait to see them play one-on-one um, -on -one here today. Indeed, and we have also manager guy for Eli. He will be more seen, not heard, except for when Eli's in his little interviews and stuff. Uh, but so let yeah we've been we've been anticipating this so much. Let's get right into those interviews now. Here we are once again. Eli McKeg is in the top of the rankings in one of Multiplex's divisions, getting closer and closer to challenging for a title. And already he has a guaranteed title shot whenever he wants, as a result of the last stand gauntlet victory that he got. And it's just a matter of time before gold is over his shoulder, but he doesn't need me to say that for him. He can easily say it for himself. So Eli, how is this match going to go down today? Oh, Nico, you know for a fact how this match is going to go down. It is going to be me Subrath and moving on to the semifinals. Look, I have been told many times that I am at the top, but I have never actually held a championship to show that I am at the top. Well, today is my first step to getting to a title shot. Sure, Subrath, he fought someone, so he has a little experience when it comes to the fandom TV trivia thing. Well, guess what? I didn't need to fight because I am that damn good. The showstopper is here, and I'm here to make sure that any show that Su Su Subrath has is going to be stopped by me, and that's a guarantee. Damn straight. I've said before, and I've said again, like people who talk too much, you've seen what they go through. You've seen what I did to Ryan Permis in the first round, and I think you're going to see that again against Eli. Eli didn't even win his Arrowverse match against Zadir, so if he thinks that he's that good, like, how can he, uh, like, why don't he just beat Zadius? I don't get it. He doesn't win that match. I don't think he can win this match. So let's see how, how it goes. Dubrath uh, sounding very confident, you know, not mincing not not going hardcore, but just staying confident. Caleb Coho, what do you what do you think about those uh, those competitors? Well, um, Eli, uh, once again coming in, he has the confidence. He always back. He always brings a bit of smack talk when he comes in. Zubrath not really having any smack talk, uh, having any of it. He just kind of wants to play the game and uh, see what Eli knows compared to what he knows. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see what these two do. Uh, I think we should just get right into it. Indeed, indeed. Take it away with those proper introductions, Mr. Coho. Introducing first, coming in as the number 10 seed in the Fandom TV tournament, he is the politician, Subrath Sharma. And his opponent, coming in as the number two ranked seed, and a member of House Night Fury, representing the Arrowverse champions, Eli, the showstopper, McKay. No longer the greatest show, but this will be the greatest show, maybe. Let's So let's get right into round one, and those rules are the same as every other match that we do. It's ten questions in the fandom TV whiteboards. Write down your answer. When we ask you to say the answer, uh, no Jane Fonding, all that good stuff. Do any competitors have any questions? Nope. 
Yep. Okay, then let's get right into the first question, which will be given to you by Mr. Caleb Coho. All right, gentlemen, your first question comes in the category of Star Wars. What is the name of the Star Wars series that debuted in 2018? I remember that year. It was a, have, uh, yeah. it was a long time ago. I was um, much younger. I believe I was 18. Sure, sure. I thought you were 12, but whatever. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm now 19, so very long time ago. Yeah, when you were 12 in 2018. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Yep, in 2018, when I was 12. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Start with the favorite, Eli. Star Wars Resistance. One point for Eli and no Subrath, Super nothing. Nope. <laughs> okay, nothing from Subrath. Your next question in Game of Thrones. What is the last name given to bastards born in the north? I I I, I quite enjoy this this show. Uh, um, I believe our team name comes from this show that I have never seen. Maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Subreath. Snow. No, indeed, and Mr. Eli. No. No place like home. Eli, correct. Eli Take them to their next question, Coho. Eli, perfect through two. Can he maintain as we get into our third question, which comes in the category of South Park? What is the persona of the dad? Um, yeah, hold on. Back up. I'm going to back this up. Sorry. Your third question in the category of South Park. What is the persona of the dad that Randy is scared to fight at a baseball game in the episode The Losing Edge? Very memorable episode of, uh, of South Park, if I do say so myself. Very true. I've referenced this particular episode numerous times in relation to the Silver Shamrocks being the fandom team champions. <laughs> sure, sure. I remember that. Paul, uh, the question is, though, does Paulo Yama know who the coach of the Detroit Lions is? Uh, it is Matt Patricia, but sure. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, Eli. I didn't know it, so I just said, come to daddy. And Sue Breath. I also don't know it. I just guessed he's a mafia. No, the question, the answer was, Co, do you want to tell him? Bat dad. Batman. The Batman. Okay. Uh, your next question is Makes sense now. Non Netflix Marvel. Yes, indeed, Eli. He dressed up like Batman. Uh, non Netflix Marvel. So this is Marvel that is not on Netflix, even though no Marvel is on Netflix anymore. QQ. Uh, and it is who plays Legion in Legion. I, I believe. Punisher and Jessica Jones are still on. I know, but it takes so that uh, that ruins the joke, Coho. So thank you, thank you very much for. Uh... I don't see them lasting. No, they, they won't. They'll get after canceled. That, after Everyone, that, get canceled. Repeat the question, please. Repeat coming in for Sue Breath, and it is his first. Your question is thus: Who plays Legion in the show Legion? There's a chance we might need to tweak these categories to non-MCU Marvel TV and MCU Marvel TV. Sure. All I know is, did not like Jessica Jones season two, but season one is still the best season of TV that the Netflix Marvel shows have produced. Agreed. I like uh, that that one chick from Memento. I wasn't. A I like that one guy TV from that one show Jones. about Three. Wibbly Wobbly. One. Pens down, Sue Braff. I don't know. It's not, it was David something. I forgot. It's not David something, Eli. Dan Stevens. The Beast uh, from Beauty and the Beast himself, Dan Stevens. I nearly forgot Daniel his name. Stevens. I nearly forgot his name. Don't worry. He's not going to roar at you. He's just going to break into song. Co your, next, give me your, next question. your next question comes in the category of Power Rangers, and it is thus. What is the name of the first episode in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1? Taking it way back to the beginning. Indeed. Indeed. After 10,000 years, she's free. 
It's time to conquer Earth. But, but the question is, does she have a crick in the neck? Oh, yeah, 10,000 10, years. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. That's movie trivia, Eli. You stop that now. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry, that's my favorite movie references here. Even though I just referenced That's my favorite Disney character. Get the, get, those, get the water bottle. We got to spray them. All right. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. We start with Eli. Day of the dumpster. And Subrath. Was it Teenagers with Attitude? It was indeed Day of the Dumpster. Day of the Dumpster. Another point for Mr. McCaig. And I would have been upset if I got that wrong. question will be given to you by me as soon as I locate my marker. Okay. And your next question is in Animated Heroes. Animated Heroes. In Crypto the Superdog, what is the name of Crypto's orange cat friend? Cat friend, I'm sorry. Orange cat friend. Crypto, Crypto, the super uh, dog. Crypto, it's super dog time. But mainly because of Ace the Bat. Um, sure, whatever Eli said. The dogs got their own show? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a pretty good show, too. Everyone, ever, all the super pets. Five. Wow. Four. Three. The more you two, know. One. Pens down, Subrath, we start with you. I have no idea. I, uh, when you say orange cat, I just think that. <laughs> Garfield, that would be awesome. But no, Eli. Streaky. Streaky is the correct. Flash is pet cat streaky. I thought that was super Watch correct, out. pet cat. Eli is streaky awesome. through this round awesome. one. No, and give streaky their... even made an appearance in Supergirl. Give right, them their right, next right. question. All right, your next question comes in the category of Netflix Marvel. Who was the first Defender to have a solo season after the Defenders? I quite liked the Defenders. I don't know. That was all right. I thought it was all right as well. And you know, if they, they don't know this, better than what people they, have a, they have a one in uh, one in like five shot to hit it. So, provided they know who the Defenders are. True. It's better than what people thought it was. I really like the first, oh. like, half. I don't know. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Subrath. The Punisher. And okay. Eli. The Punisher. Both correct. of you are incorrect. Ah, dang it. The Punisher was not a defender. The answer is Jessica yeah. Jones. Jessica you Jones. You know what's so bad? You know what is so bad? I had Jessica Jones, and then you said one in five chance, and I was like, oh, crap. I forgot about Punisher. Right. Man, the one in five chance did not pay off. Your next question. Is provided by me, right? Yes. yes. I lose track very easily. I like I shiny do. things. I'm a bit of a cuda sometimes. Your next question is in the Arrowverse. And it is. Caitlin Snow's father is attempting to heal her of what disease that leads to her getting her powers? Crap. I haven't been keeping oh, up got, this season. Uh, and Jim, you, you got cut off in the middle of the question. Okay. I will repeat that question for technical difficulties. <clears throat> Caitlin Snow's father is attempting to heal her of what disease that leads to her getting her powers? If they both miss, miss this, do you mind if I answer? Um, yes, I do mind. I don't. You probably know <laughs> it. Noted that Nico knows this. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Start with Sue Breath. I blank. Sorry. Eli. I haven't been keeping up with the season, so I said hypothermia. Nico, what is the answer? Uh, is it ALS? It is indeed ALS. ALS. So Gehrig's disease, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, neither of them getting that question. Mr. Coho, give them their next question, please. Like I will your mother give you your next question. 
which comes in the only category I like in this division, Doctor Who. Oh, God. How many actors have portrayed the Doctor in the New Who era? <coughs> I love this question. And to clarify, for the sake of challenges, minisodes and specials do count towards this total. Including the we'll, new one, right? We'll give you slightly extra time. Everyone who has played the Doctor in the New Who era. Five, four, three, two... One, Mr. McCaig. I said seven. Ooh. And Subrath. Six. Ooh. Uh, oh. Eli was closer. The answer is eight. It's and eight. the they are it's Christopher eight. Eccleston, David Tennant, Matt Smith, Paul McGann, uh, John Hurt, Peter Capaldi, David Bradley, and Jody Whitaker. Oh, dang it. I forgot about Wait. David Bradley. Brooklyn Vale owes you Paul both McGann a chance. Was a mini was in a mini so special. Night the, the night of the Doctor. The night of the Doctor, which shows the regeneration uh, of the Eighth Doctor. The Eighth Doctor into uh, the, the War Doctor War. of John, John one oh, oh, late Jonathan Hurt. Okay. So that is why I gave you the, uh, the eight mini special hint there. Eight. We were looking for eight. Bradley playing the Doctor in the Christmas special twice upon a Christmas. Uh, your final question is in the category of Smallville. Smallville. Somebody save me. In what season did Kara, a.k.a. Supergirl, debut? Somebody in Smallville. save me. Sing it, brother. That's all I know. I think that's all everybody knows. <laughs> that's all that is needed. Including in in uh, crossover specials that reference that series. Oh um, my goodness, I geeked out so hard when I heard that. Five, four, three, two, one. And pens down, Mr. Subrath. Season four. Uh, Eli. Season seven. Season seven is correct, and another point for Eli. Going into round number two, I have the score six to one in favor of the number two ranked competitor, Eli. And it should what be seven you, to Mr. four. Should be seven to one if I would have gotten that Jessica Jones question right. Yes, if only, if only the woodpecker size. Uh, so now we go into round two, which is the wheel round, which let me bring this up the wheel. Uh, and here it is. This is the wheel. Very colorful, according to its uh, thing here. And the categories we have today are Star Trek, Netflix Marvel, Arrowverse, Doctor Who, Smallville, non-Netflix Marvel, Fox Animated, Animated Heroes, Guy Who Spun Choice, Guy Who Didn't Spin Choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Eli, would you like yeah. to spin first or defer to Subrath? I'll go first. Why not? Your spin is in. Non-Netflix Marvel. Eli, what are you thinking? I'm not really that confident with non-Netflix Marvel. Because I don't Nico, know Agents Nico, of S.H.I.E.L.D. that much. Nico pulling the Bobby Gucci. Uh, I think I respin. What do you think? Uh, if, if you're not comfortable with the category, I think you should respin. Yeah, okay, I'm respinning. He will take the respin. Your category that you are stuck with is Fox Animated. Fox Crap. Animated. Should Let me stop now. screen sharing. All right. And Coho, go ahead and give him these questions because I think my internet's slightly better, so it'll help for me to give Subrath his questions. All right. Eli, your question's in Fox Animated. Your first question. In King of the Hill... Peggy Hill competes in what board game championship in season one? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Scrabble, B, Monopoly, C, Yahtzee, or D, Boggle. 
scramble. That's incorrect. Serpent the chance for a one point steal. Bobo. That is correct for one point. Big steal. Yeah. Big steal. Your second question, Eli. In Futurama, what is the name of Hermes' rival and lover of his ex wife? Multiple choice. Is it A, Honduras, B, Barbados, C, Germain, or D, Dorian? B. B is correct for one point. There you go, brother. Keep your composure. You got this. Your third question in Fox Animated. In the Simpsons episode where Lisa dresses as Florida for school, Ralph dresses as what state? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Idaho, B, Vermont, C, Wyoming, or D, Nebraska. Idaho. That is correct for one point. Your penultimate question in Fox Animated. What is the name of Joe and Bonnie's young daughter? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Betty, B, Claire, C, Lori, or D, Susie. What were the first two again? Um, your options one more time are A, Betty, B, Claire, C, Lori, or D, Susie. I'm going to say Claire. As incorrect, Super about the chance for a one-point steal. Could you repeat the question again, please? I can repeat the question for you. That will be your second repeat. Uh, what is the name of Joe and Bonnie's young daughter? Is it A, Betty, B, Claire, C, Lori, or D, Susie? Susie. That is correct for one point. And, Eli, your final question in Fox Animated. What is the name of the eldest Belcher child in Bob's Burgers? Uh, multiple choice. Your options are A, Linda, B, Tina, C, Jean, or D, Louise? Linda? That's incorrect. So brought the chance for a one-point steal. Could you repeat the options? Your options are A, Linda, B, Tina, C, Jean, or D, Louise? Louise? Tina. Sorry, you... It's Tina. Louise. Uh, Louise is incorrect. It is Tina. It's Tina Belcher. Tina Belcher coming at, in through there. At the <gasps> end of Eli's round, he sits with eight points. Superath able to get some steals. He's moved himself up to three. One has eight. to wonder if he would have done better sticking with uh, with his original spin. It's all right, brother. Just breathe. Okay. Breathe. Okay. We can, okay. we can okay. bring up back the wheel for Subrath, and here we go with your first spin. We can recover from this, brother. I Just know, relax. And it is Arrowverse. Arrowverse. I'll take it. Oof. Oof. Subrath keeping Arrowverse. He's keeping Eli's category. Insult to injury. Here we go. Let's see where that is. Here it is. Your first question in Arrowverse. In the crossover Elseworlds, on what earth does John Wesley Ship's Barry Allen come from? Multiple choice. Is it A, Earth 7, B, Earth 69, C, Earth 90, D, Earth 616? Seven. That is incorrect. Uh, Eli for the chance to steal. Earth 90. Earth 90 is correct. There you go. That's a big Your one. next question. What does Cisco call it when whenever a group of Harrison Wells get together to solve something? Multiple choice. Is it A, the gathering of Harrison Wells? B, 
B, the interdimensional meeting of the Harrison Wells. C, the Council of Wells. D, group ther- therapy for HR. Council Wells. C is correct. Council Wells. Your next question. In Arrow Season 7, who does Oliver help sneak out of Slabside? Multiple choice. Is it A, Bronze Tiger, B, Talia Ghul, C, Brick, D, Samson? Bronze Tiger. That is incorrect. Eli, for the chance to steal. Tally Algo. That is correct for another big steal for Eli. Nice one. Let me switch markers. Your penultimate question, Sue Breath, in Arrowverse. In Legends of Tomorrow, Season 3, Ray sneaks on to what movie franchise is set to talk to John Noble? Multiple choice. Is it A, Harry Potter, B, Alien, C, Predator, D, Lord of the Rings? A. Harry Potter is incorrect. Eli with a chance to steal. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is correct. Your final question. Sue Breath in Arrowverse. What is the name of Sam's daughter in Supergirl? Ruby. Ruby is incorrect. What? Eli with the chance to steal. Um, Actually, Sue Breath is right. Yeah. So, so, like the... Uh, What's the name? Uh, her daughter is Ruby. Yeah, it is Ruby. I can verify that. Okay. One second. Oh, I think I might have fucked it up when I transferred it over. That is my bad. Uh, sorry about that. Kane will probably keep this in, but the answer is Ruby, so Subath does get the points. Does yeah, get the I, points. yeah, I... I was ready to give it to Sue Brown. That was the best okay. No, he's right. Okay. So, after round <laughs> number two, I have the score as Eli 11, Sue Brad 6, Caleb Coho. Do you agree with that? Yes, I agree. And I also okay. agree with that math. Nobody asked Nico. <laughs> Okay, and it's a third party. Get round three is the betting round, and it is the uh, competitors will get a category. They'll say, Oh, I want to bet zero to two points. I'm going to bet two points on. They'll show us those points, and then uh, we will ask them a question from that one. If they get it right, they get those points. If they get it wrong, they lose those points. If either competitors or basically Subrat gets to zero, the match is over, and it is a TKO. So, in round number three, let's start this off with the category of Smallville. Smallville. And it's zero to two, right? Yes, zero to right. two. Where did Sue Breath go? He's still there. Oh, it just looked weird. Okay. Uh, Subrath, you were losing, so what did you bet? I'll take a zero for this. Zero. Play for play along for stats, please. Uh, Eli. Two. Two. Your question is thus. What high school musical actor played Connor Kent in the episodes Beacon and Scion? Do we get do we get actor this one for the show? Damn, I'm still pretty far behind on the show. I gotta exceed these episodes. <laughs> two. 
Repeat the question. Repeat the question. Uh, so that's last repeat. What high school musical actor played Connor Kent in the episodes Beacon and Scion? Five, four, three, two, one. Subrath, what'd you get? I don't know Zach Efron. Uh, Eli, what did you put? Lucas Verdue. Yes, that is the correct answer for two big points. And Subrath betting zero did not lose anything there. But a big two points for Eli. And your next category will be given to you by Mr. Caleb Coho. Your next category in which you can bet points is the non-Netflix Marvel. <clears throat> they both look good. Uh, Eli, what are you betting? One. And Subraf. I'm going to go for it. Two. Two. All right, your question in non-Netflix Marvel. The first season of The Gifted ends with members of the underground leaving to join what group? Have you seen The Gifted, Coho? I have not seen The Gifted, no. Neither have I. I've seen a few episodes, but didn't finish season one. Do you, if anyone knows a website where I can finish the season, please let me know. Really? Oh, yeah. That's right. Five, four, three, two, one. We will start with the two-point better. Subrath, what did you get? Brotherhood. That is incorrect. Eli? I said the Brotherhood as well. The... Uh, well, both of you said it, and it was both wrong. The correct answer is the Inner Circle slash Hellfire Club. Oh, interesting. Well, for me. <laughs> lost two. Eli lost one. So it is 12 to four. Yep, 12 to four. Okay, your next category is Netflix Marvel. Netflix Marvel. Eli, you arguably don't have to bet at this point. I know, but I'm still going to because I have to. I, <laughs> because he's Eli. To... Uh, <laughs> Eli, let's see what you bet. Two. Two? Oh, he's going for the kill. He's going for the kill. And Subrath. Two as well. Two. Two. I'm not going for the kill. I just want to bet one. Eight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your question is, and before I ask this question, I will tell you we are looking for a specific answer. A specific answer. Just keep that in mind. Uh, how does the Punisher damage Jigsaw's face at the end of season one of Netflix's The Punisher? Now just for clarification, if Eli gets this right, the game is over no matter what. Correct? Uh, I believe, no, I, no, it's not. It's technically he still could. It still could be mm -hmm. eight points. Uh, the math queen is yep. not with us right now, but uh, the next question. The will be only, passed. the only way Eli wins this right now is if Subrath gets it. Right. Eli gets it. Repeat. Repeat. As Eli's first repeat. And let me again clarify: we are looking for a specific answer that does include a location. I will just clarify that so you cannot challenge it when uh, we when you reveal the answer. How does the Punisher damage Jigsaw's face at the end of season one? You need the location as well. Yes. Without getting specific. The location of where this happened <laughs> is needed in the answer. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Start with Eli. Okay. 
I didn't know how specific he wanted, so I said he rubs his face against a mirror that is on a carousel in the park. That's why you family died. Though, right? A paragraph. Uh, Subrath. Because I didn't know how specific you wanted it. Subrath, what did you put? I put uh, he was they were at the carnival and he crushed his face against the glass, scraped it left and right. I think we can accept that. Yes, uh, that is good enough. Uh, yes, the answer we put we had down was smash his face into the carousel mirrors slash glass. But yes, it was. Uh, we just Where wanted the mirror so slash glass on the carousel. The breath That's stays it. alive. It is fourteen. Do I also six. get the point? Yep. Yes, you yes, you both get the, the points. Okay. Both get the points. We just, needed, we just needed carousel and glass smashing. All right. Uh, so you get into get the, the next question, the penultimate one of the match. Which comes in the category of Star Wars. How many points would you like to bet on Star Wars? I love uh, I love this match already. When you mentioned Star Wars. Pretty much, but we have to ask this question anyway because math. Mm-hmm. Again, Jim, I didn't know how specific you went with the question. I know, the I know. So and I, like, I told you okay. to your answer, but yes, I, I, we just needed carousel. Because I couldn't just say, you got to tell me where he smashed his face with glass. Uh, so, uh, bets in Subrath. One. <laughs> one, because why not? And Eli, did you bet any points? Also one. One, okay. The match is over with this question, but ask it anyway, Caleb Coho. All right. Your question, Star Wars. The show Star Wars Clone Wars debuted in what year? I should have went for two. Still like a not, question. Still a win for you, buddy. Congratulations. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Subrath. Two thousand eight. That's incorrect. Two thousand eight. That's incorrect. We were looking for two thousand and three. Oh, two thousand three. Stone I see what you did there. Star Wars. Clone Wars. Hold on, Star Wars. Oh. The Clone Wars. Oh, okay. Very Go. important word. But with that, the match is over. And your winner, Eli, the showstopper, McCag. Looking for 2003, Eli winning this one 13 to 5, Jim. Indeed, indeed. What a great match. Eli just, you know, flexing that muscle of why he got the buy, and you know, Subrath, Subrath going sticking with that Arrowverse, and uh, and it not not quite working out for him with Eli getting those steals. But let's not mince any more words. Let's get right into those post match interviews, which will be done by you, Kale Coho. Now, right. Well, we're here with post match interviews, and with our winner today, Eli McKegg. How does it feel to be advancing to the semifinals of the Fandom TV tournament? Nico, my manager, will speak first. Uh, was there ever any doubt? Listen, Eli McKeg, he had a little bit of a rocky patch in November, December, but he picked things up on the right foot at the end of the year, and he's just been on a roll since 2019 is going to be his year. It's going to be the year of House Night Fury, and you'll likely see myself and him challenging for the fandom TV throwdown title in the finals, uh, and it's going to be a great day when that happens for the house and for Multiplex as a whole, and yeah, the future is definitely bright for my client, my friend here. Eli, how are you feeling right now? Well, I'm just saying that I'm feeling great. There is a reason why I had a buy, and it was because of how much, how talented I am with fandom TV trivia. Sure, when the second round came around and Fox Animation was my category, I did regret my decision on not keeping the non Netflix Marvel, but it was okay because once I saw Arrowverse, I was just thinking to myself, all Superbreath has to do is mess up, and I got it. And what happened? He messed up, and I got a lot of the answers correct. I was able to readjust myself after that second round, and then third round came around, and I was just thinking, well, here it is. The victory is just signed, sealed, delivered. I'm ready for my next match. And damn right. And whether it's Jim Green or Grant Gregory, Eli McKeg will come out victorious. And by the way, 
that Star Wars Clone Wars question at the end was kind of a dick move, but I hope it means that Lego Star Wars The Freemaker Adventures is eligible for fandom TV as a category in the future. So kind of a, a kind of uh, hit or miss, yay me, boo me sort of thing for me, but I'm happy for my client. And yeah, it's going to be a good night for House Night Fury as we move forward in this tournament. Uh, speaking of moving forward, who are you most? Uh, who would you rather face of the upcoming uh, semifinalists? Well, I just know that I played Grant Gregory in Fanda before, and I beat him when everyone thought I wasn't going to beat him. So, so I would look forward to face him. And when it comes to Jim Green, sure, I'd look forward to face him and potentially and most definitely beat him. But it doesn't matter because whoever I'm going up against, I'm going to win and I'm going to get to that final. I'm going to get the fandom TV belt. I don't care who's in my way. I'm going to get a belt. Even if I'm guaranteed a title shot, I'm going to get a belt on my own. It doesn't matter who I'm going up against. It's going to be me with the title. And if he has to fight me in the finals for it, then it's going to be a brotherly battle, but it will be a good night for the house. All right. Well, congratulations on your win. We will see you in the semifinals. And over to our unfortunate uh, loser today, Sibrath. How do you feel coming off of this defeat? I sure I don't feel pretty bad at all. I know Eli is really good. He's damn good. I mean, like, when I took that Arrowverse, I somehow knew that if he took it, then he may, maybe he deserved it. I just need to watch more Arrowverse. I just need to study a lot more because I have certain goals in mind for next year. When the once the tournament is over and all the leagues restart again, just be ready. I'm gonna be more prepared this time. All right, this is well, not let's... over. This is not over, Eli. He might get the belt. He might not get the belt. I mean, you still have Grand Gregory to worry about. We'll see what happens. Well, it sounds like you have a plan. Um, coming. All right. Uh, is there anyone you're looking forward to maybe taking on after the tournament ends here in Fandom TV? Anybody who wants to come, just come on. Right. All right. Well, uh, thank you for playing. We will see you next season. Uh, sorry about your defeat, but it sounds like you have something um, – in your back pocket so whatever it is i guess good on you and we'll see you we'll see you after the tournament uh and right. now we'll throw it back to jim green at the desk fun fun stuff there i'm not gonna let's not uh overextend our welcome uh it's it's a it's been a it's been a long long day for all of us and uh i just want to say on camera i did not intentionally do the do that question uh clone wars the clone wars i did not do that on purpose that was not on purpose just a uh, a happy tri tricky question that i stumbled upon by by happy accident but uh yeah not gonna say much uh if i beat grant you'll have to watch to find out uh we already know do we maybe yes we do no we don't you'll have to watch and find out to see who's gonna play eli in the next round uh, but let's just get right into everyone's favorite thing to always do. And by everyone, I mean Nico and Caleb. The plugs start with the winner, Mr. McKay. Well, you can find me on the Facebook at Eli McKay. You can find me on the Twitter and the Instagram at Mr. Eli Mac. And you can find me around Multiplex whenever I'm in a match. And also, whenever you see a champion, better tell that champion to watch out because. I got something in my back pocket that I can pop in at any time I want. So watch out. Sorry, I forgot I'm muted. And the loser, Mr. Subrath. What, you, you want me to do a, a the closing? Your plugs, your plugs and okay. stuff, whatever. You could find me over at you know, Multiplex. I'm also on uh, the full Mad Metal Media page, the Movie Battleground page. We're going to go back into like shooting matches again in January. 
So yeah, you could just find me on those things. And manager guy, whatever your name is. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, at Nico Suave Regoli. That's N-I-C-O-S-U-A-V-E-R-E-G-O-L-I. You can find me over at Film Nerd TV for Combat Zone Wrestling Trivia, uh, as well as the Week of Wrestling Podcast with Hunter the Hitman Chambliss and sometimes Andrew the Dude Hayes, dedicated to art with Christopher Doman and Case Corner Lace, and right here at Multiplex Entertainment alongside Caleb Coho and Jim Green. That's the name of the Facebook group and the YouTube channel. The Twitter is at MultiplexYT. The Instagram is Multiplex Entertainment Network. The Public is just Multiplex. Buy our awesome shirts. The schedule is Monday Movie War Zone, Tuesday TV Throwdown, both singles and fandom. Uh, Sports Battlefield is on Wednesday. The Co-Hoskers and Crisis on Earthplex is on Thursday. Friday Friday is Fandom Fight. Saturday is Nerdgasm. Sunday is our recap show around the league with Nico. Uh, and I think Monday we're doing the after show now, so I forgot to mention that. I got to get in the habit of doing that. We just did The Last Stand, so go check that out. And, of course, the John Rigoy Memorial Triviathon, fourth on from January 21st to January he cut out. with Penn State Thon yep. uh, yep. and in honor of my dad and uh, yeah uh, doing matches all around these great fan leagues and by the way you can catch me and Eli we're going to be uh, in Brooklyn for the Schmodown live weekend so check us out go meet us one of us might have gold over our shoulder okay and Caleb Coho take it away uh, you can don't forget me. we check part doing the forks you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Caleb Coho. That is Caleb with a K and then K-O-H-O. Um, on YouTube, you can find my movie Chick Park Duel, which is on Caleb Coho and Coho Productions on YouTube right now. My album Shoot for Teens with my group The Forks is on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you consume your digital music, just search The Forks uh, or Shoot for Teams. Um, and you can find me right here on Multiplex Entertainment, where I host Fandom Fight on Fridays and help out with Movie Warzone on Mondays. And me and Jake Marangoni's show The Co-Oscars will be debuting at the start of 2019, where we break down our favorite movies of the year. We'll talk some Oscar stuff, and yeah, we're going to do our own Oscars. So it's going to be really cool. Uh, but yeah, check that out um yep that's me i don't do plugs fuck all that shit uh so this has been coho nico eli subrath i'm jim until next time we are out of here mr